Welcome to Wedding Cakes for You Cake Tutorials. In this striped buttercream cake tutorial, you'll see how to create this beautiful effect on your cakes. If you want to build your skills and confidence to create beautiful cakes and memories, subscribe and ring the bell. This baby shower cake begins with three six inch layers of coconut cake. Sticky side down to hold the cake in place. A ring of buttercream helps to hold the filling in place and the layers together. This is coconut cream cheese and lemon curd. Fresh raspberries go really well with this cake. The buttercream helps to seal the filling. This is the crumb coat, which seals in the crumbs. You can trim your cakes if necessary. Repeat the crumb coat on the 10 inch tier and then refrigerate. Icing tip number 789 helps to put an even coat on your cake. Once you've added a coat of buttercream, hold the cake comb vertically against the cake and scrape off little by little. You'll need to scrape the excess from the comb often and take your time to get the grooves just right. The goal is to get the thick part of the lines as even and smooth as possible. This was the first time doing this technique for me and it wasn't that difficult, it just takes some patience. You can see the parts that still need some work. I came back and reworked it. The little holes can be an issue because the colored buttercream can end up filling them and I did have that issue a little bit. 
but overall the cake came out great. Here's the invitation that I used to create the design. Your cakes need to be cold before the next step. This is a number 12 magic brand from Korea, but basically all you need is a round tip that fits the hole, or the divot rather, to put the blue buttercream in. I used Wilton Royal Blue. So a tip for you is use a slightly larger round tip than I did here. That would have been better because you need to fill them completely. I had to go back and add bits of blue buttercream here and there. I used both a metal scraper and also the comb, which is made of plastic, and the comb straight edge actually worked better for scraping the excess off. Just keep scraping until you're satisfied. This could take a while. Now you can see that it's not perfect, but there is a point where you have to stop, and I definitely reached that point. Now the top is cleaned up and the dowels are sharpened. The cakes are marked. Waxed or parchment paper goes in between the tiers, and you can also use graham crackers, crumbs, or coconut. Again, use a round tip of whatever size is appropriate for your cake. This is the number 12 magic brand from Korea. I have no idea how I even got this tip. Probably uh, somebody else's that ended up in my kit. So I normally buy Wilton. This is moss green Wilton and I use this for the leaves. Peach for the flowers and burgundy for the flowers. 
I'm just going to let this roll now and let you watch the design part. If you have any questions, please leave me comments below. The little booties were made with a round tip as well. Pretty easy to do. And then you just use a number one, a tiny little number one round to make the laces and the edging on the top of the booty. And here's the finished cake. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.